divider for your sideboard in your deck and you're gonna have a box this is an art of an artifact and we'll go with our boosters we'll start with with our good lady friend Veraska so I like to do this in the woodwork order um, Okay, so this sealed pool already has more removal than my last one, and I'm only in pack one. Oh, yeah. It has not been opened yet. Ooh, that's a good one. It has not been opened yet. Okay, cool. That's Kevin in the background trying to hype up everyone's packs. But a Jace has not been opened. I faced a Jace last night. It wasn't fun. And River's Review is the best card in the set. And Hawali was open though. A Huaro, Huaro, Huali. Is it Huali? Chase card? Hey, look. Chase is definitely one of Chase cards. No, the Chase card is the 676 six, 6 drop. Look, Oh, yeah, that one's good too. That card is worth like 30 bucks, man. Hey, picture for the no. Hey guys, we're gonna take a picture for Twitch, so make a funny face. Panoramic going, 3, 2, 1, here we go. Ooh, my green's looking pretty cool. I got some of these vehicles are actually pretty decent. Um, I like this one. It's an okay rare. I'm happy to open it. There's one that's like a 4 3 that you threw for one. That's pretty broke. I wish my blue is better because I feel blue is really strong. And Jace has been opened. Not a fan of that artifact. Huge fan of this card. This card's okay. I see a little bit more removal. I have been very removal light in the last pre release I did. But we'll see. At least some of my fixing doesn't look bad. Quietly. This card seems pretty decent. Maybe my blue is. Maybe I'm in blue green again, who knows? Blue green doesn't seem bad if you remove a light. You can just go on the beat down plan, but in sealed you wanna have good removal usually. Um Wobble, Wobble. Sounds like King of the Hill every time I say that name. Right? I'm not sure if this card is good or not, but if I'm in black, we'll try it. Oh, great. The rare I want to see. 
Um, just to let you know, that's sarcasm. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Alrighty, so sarcasm. I don't know that. I've never heard of it. No. So let's see if I have any good black. And the reason why I went straight to black. Where's the strong in the bottom right corner? Just heads up. All right. So the reason why I'm gonna just start off with black real quick is usually a. Yes. Um, is because black may have way more removal, and I want to see where my removal is at. So let's say I saw a few rares, maybe they're good enough for me to be in this color. Uh, okay. All right, so. As of right now, my black pool just has some removal and a decent bomb. So I'm gonna not think about black right now. Now I'm gonna take a look at my red because that's another color that is heavy in removal. Now I like to separate these in non-creature spells and creature spells in color and then you know I'm gonna do it color and then I'm gonna do it by CMC which is converted mana cost. The reason I'm doing this is just to visually help me out with what I have and what I've got going on. So so far I got a good top end in red. I don't have much removal in red though. And that worries me. Again, I don't have much removal in this format. That's two pre-releases in a row. Yeah, this is a story of my life when it comes to limited. I never open up a good amount of removal. Which is fine, which means that I'm going to be on the beatdown plan. <laughs> now, let's take a look at some tempo -y stuff. Um... Is it me or is it a little warm in here? Alright, so one thing that I like is that I got two really good strong temple plays in blue. Um I also have some card advantage. It may want me to splash blue or be in directly in blue. Now I do have a gold Simic card that might pull me in that direction. As of right now, the only blue card that I might not play is the 2-5 or the cancel. But I think I'd play all of these. And this is not a bad base. I think blue's really good in this format. Hey, Kevin, remember when I told you to give me removal? You've given me literally one piece of removal. I'm dead serious. I have one removal spell. Yo, what the hell, man? <laughs> Did you I blame the store. Did you not trade your box or something? No, of course you? not. You should. I never trade box. My white doesn't look bad. I can already tell by some of its top end that I have some flying. And that I wouldn't mind being in a white blue deck or maybe even the back. Because I know my green It's not bad. Be, but the white is like not bad at all. This is Kevin from the show. Oh my god! It counts. It cut, look, the first time I've seen one, and this is my second pre-release. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> so, this card's not bad. Um, it explores, and it's a 3-3, bitch. Oh, oh, you were talking about my bad. <laughs> um, if you're, ooh, can I, can I put a, can I put a Jeff Goldblum Jurassic Park scene? 
the laugh, man. You gotta edit the laugh yeah, into the screen somehow. Or we could, you, no, talk like just Golden kind of doesn't. No, no, I can't do the laugh. I'm trying to explain it. Wait. Y'all dig up dinosaurs? I can't do it. I can't do it. Alright, so my wife doesn't look bad, actually. Um, I've got a decent top end. I might even splash some of that blue. Uh, white blue flyers actually seems like a thing. Um, I had some decent evasion creatures. Usually, um, when you want to build limited, you want to be underbred. Uh, the acronym is... Um, Bombs, removal, evasion, attackers, fenders. Um, some people use the D as duds. I just use them as jump lockers. Um, yeah, so I right now have some pump that can be a removal spell. And they get better if I have vamps, which I have a few. Um, now, white might be my base. Or maybe green. We'll see. I'm never ever playing this card. That's never ever being played. I'm sorry, but a card that gives someone all that love is just commander friendly. Not limited friendly. We're gonna put the big bombs in the same pile because you don't have these are the white cards you have? No, I won't. Okay. I they're, you know, they're just gonna come on late game. I don't know how I feel about this card. Um, it's a maybe. It's a sideboard. Uh, this is a maybe, depending on like if I have a lot of merfolks or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I played against this card and this card's really good. Is this like a card? Kinda, yeah. Alright. So I don't know if I'm like directly into dinosaurs, but I could be if I go white. You know, overall, I'm actually better. Good or bad? So, but in general, no, no, no. Yeah, I know it's too late. I watched as best as I could, as much as I could. Yeah. So one, two. Is that a, is that a, is that an achievement? Because he's really good with miracles. I'm a fan of this, but I don't know if I have enough pirates. So I'm looking at my white green because I know I have like a low curve in white and I also have some dinos and dino matters and my green dinos like I got two lords and a and two good five drops so we'll go like this for right now now I don't know if I want to splash but we'll, we'll look at that in, two, in, in a little bit so right now let's count my green one. Hey John, just curious, how do you feel about this card? The green enchantment? I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's just good if you bring it in from the sideboard. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's entirely sideboard based. Yeah, because I mean like, if you don't play against the removal game, 
What to do for you, right? My first thing for me is so I think that I should play these blue if I'm going to play blue, but I'll definitely splash for this. John, I, I mean, I should definitely, like, like, this is my blue playable, and I, I honestly think it's really worth considering. Yeah. But right now I'm going to go on green-white. I think that's the correct... I think that might be the right move. You're not really playing, you're playing like you're just splashing for something. I know, but you don't have enough cards. Uh, but that was really a win. So I don't like this. But you can just play cards that don't do anything. Like, like, it's better to just play these cards. I'm not a fan of this one drop. Damn, yeah. yeah. all token bases. Yeah. Oh, I do. Yeah. I, I just like them. So that was the last one. So, 3 1 flyer is okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in there. I think this is a good card to splash for. I really like this. I really like this. I really like this. So, I got two rampers. Yeah, my three is perfect. You have all red-white cards, but you don't have like a lot of like ways to get rid of creatures. Um, so you have good creature removal in black and red, and black and blue. Yeah. And in red. Like, Ooh. in red, you're just flashing because you have really awesome pirates. And so I think if I cut a four drop, it may be this vampire, but it gives me a token when it comes in. I think my creatures are really good. Mm. Now five mana, I could cut. Um. I don't know how I feel about the build your own Sarah Angel. I'm not really gaining much life. Um, I don't really have, I mean I have the one. So, we'll, we'll pretend it's like this and we'll count real quick. So, I need to cut four cards. So, hey John. Uh, play or no play? I don't really have much pirates. You're a pirate vehicle. I don't really have much. I don't have any pirates. Then I'd say no play. Doesn't matter. Okay. Like whatever creature is. And then I also have the four six. Alright. Uh, no, I think that the only like equipment I'd play in this set is kind of equipment. Or whatever. The only vehicle I play in this set is the galleon. The one that plays into the land. That's the other treasure one. I would have said to cut something for it. Yeah. But that's fine. So I'm gonna try something. Leave these here. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna take these out. Take these out. Leave all the white that flies or explorers. Um, and then maybe this. <laughs> yeah, John. All right, so I'm splashing for bad. I think. All right. So the reason why I want to go into bat is because I have some decent white and I have some decent blue. My green is really solid. That's a fact. 
I have some big I think it's pretty good. Alright. And I have like some temple plays, which is really what I want in this deck. It gives me some removal. Sure, I didn't miss a card. I'm reading a, I hadn't ever actually figured out how to get less from the It's called... The problem is it's actually very fast. And it's like four So you like my deck. So if you hit someone with a pirate, you're If you're a pirate, you just take something. Oh, can I get them? I didn't realize. Okay. Help by three more pirates. So there's an app called Twitch Tabs. The windows have a Mac. Not a Mac. So as long as it's not on, you just take it. And it's in my hand or it's in my hand? No, it's on the other side of the back. Alright, so I know I want these creatures. Yeah, whatever. So that's the I want this. No, it's great. What are you kidding me? That's so free. What do you mean? You're attacking me for with like three separate pirates. And I can't so let me call my dinos. I haven't tested it before because I didn't have that. Strong. This is what they say. This is like the attack you and I take it again. Yeah, my turn. Then you can take my flame block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Yeah, it does. Not your name on it. Yeah. And I recently got like my own. I don't know. Do I have to tap for this guy? So honestly, I can cut that guy. Yeah, yeah, I have any vampire. He's like your only vampire. So he becomes a fighter. Or is it a girl? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it'll like pop up. Now, so it's so good. Yeah. And how do you like the difference? So I really like the fossil links in this format. Um, I really like the explorer as well. So I don't really want to cut explorer. Are you name on one of them? I'm going to collect them later though. But I don't know if I have enough dinos to benefit that. I only spent some of Richard, name on one of them, I'm going to go back and collect the other one. Richard, name on one of them, and I'm going to come back and collect the uh, other one, okay? Sure. I have a lot of dinosaurs in that card, so Mine is like all three. I'm also playing like. No, you're not playing me. Oh, sorry. I bet my bad. Do what I want. What are you doing? I'm going to up Did she get that? Oh, I got. Ooh, I love her. That's the artist's mom. That's the artist's mom, by the way. Really? Yeah. Is that a good card? Yeah, it is. 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 Looks so happy. Yeah, look at him. It's a her. It's a her. It's a, it's, it's the artist's it's mom. It's a strong female pirate. You got that right. Yeah. So, I have to cut a three drop. I have two vampires. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can cut one of these. I don't think I should ever cut. So, John, I have a conundrum. Do I cut? I'm, I'm really light on removal. Do I cut a ramp or a frostling? Keep the frostling, cut a ramp. Yeah. But I have a good top end. 
I think I'm actually going to cut the floor. I don't know if that's right. So, I have a few spells that give me card advantage. But I think I should be in 16, uh, 17 lands. I think I'm cutting. So I always get stuck on the last card. So I'm going to just start doing this real quick. Um, cards for me to consider sideboarding is this. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna consider. It. Hey, friendly, you would friendly get that card. I really like this card. I don't know if I should play it. We'll oh, find out. I'll probably bring one in. Yeah. Another Brontosaurus is really good, but I don't know if I want to bring in the Brontosaurus. I can make it an 11-11 like like if I really wanted to. I know this card's really good, but I don't know. If I want it over my explore guy, because that can give me card advantage. So we're gonna count my manas so I know how much to get. Thank you for buying me the wrong sleeves that do nothing. It's a now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how do these treasure artifacts work? You they just come into play when you get them, and you can sacrifice them at any point. So that's all they're good for. Yeah, you just sack them and they make a land. One, okay. Yeah, but like she gets bigger when you sacrifice the sky fairies. No, but it's just like one use, right? You just yeah, that you only one get them once. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You yeah. saw this deck right now. How do you do? So I will know throughout the game if I'm going to switch from Bat to Simic. Um, but I like the white because I get to put early game down. I really, 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 really wish I had some more room. I needed for the white like no job, but I wanted more room for this because it gives me a 1-1 one, one bat with night play. But I think this is just a better card because it bounces something and it's unblockable. Alright, well, we're gonna run it like this. There's a few cards that I might take out. We're back in, who knows. So, I need to cut a card to go to 17. 
It's usually my hardest task is to cut that last card. Um, Alright, so we're gonna get our mana base. As of right now, it's gonna be. I don't know what to cut for my 17th man. So I'm gonna get 17 man. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get six and six with my green blue. Three planes. And then I have this and this. I want to get 17. Let's say you don't have one. I think this would be like that since I have two. So we're gonna do that. Hey, before I forget, because I'm doing a lot. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, so I'm gonna be. Oh, okay. Let's go walk around the block. Yeah. That's to uh. Before I forget. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, he called us a kiosk. That's a lie. Can you not say that on camera? Huh? Does he cast it? Oh. I was like, I was like, yeah. Yeah, but he just wasted his whole turn. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, uh, where's your uh, land box? Right, uh, because he already wasted his mana casting it, and he can't attack with it yet, and I'm going to get that. Yeah. So it's when they cast a spell, not when it comes to play. You know? What do you mean? So, like, say. That spell is any spell. Yes. That's not a spell. Okay, so if he plays a big creature. He's going to be like, I don't want that to happen. So, this is expensive, right? So, I can show you. This is your go to. This is Andrew's game. This is your catch all deal. So, if you're playing something you don't I would say that's expensive. It's like kind of expensive, but like when you use it, it's going to be worth it. And you pay the stuff back. All right, so as you guys are watching, we have David currently getting his lands. Um, basically, at this point, um, David has his deck in mind, he has his piles, he has uh, an idea of what he's doing. So, I mean, the base there looks good, the set really supports what he's doing, so how far can he take it? We'll find out. Guys, stay tuned, we'll be right back in just a moment. Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and I will be explaining the mechanics of Ixalan. Ixalan is a plane of adventure and exploration, which is exemplified by its first keyword ability, Explore. Explore is an activated or triggered ability that reads, Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature, then put the card back on top or into your graveyard. Explore is a powerful ability that essentially lets you draw land or buff your creature and get the scry. Ixalan is also home to ferocious dinosaurs, many of which have the Enrage ability. Enrage is a triggered ability that gives you some sort of bonus whenever a creature with Enrage is damaged. Enrage triggers for every instance of damage, regardless of how much was dealt or what dealt it. Raid is a triggered ability that first appeared on the Mardu clan of Tarkir, but now shows up on the Pirates of the Brazen Coalition. Raid is an ability that triggers if you attacked with a creature this turn. Cards with Raid don't care about how many creatures you attacked with or if any damage was dealt, just so long as you attacked. Spells with Raid can have the Raid abilities trigger even if you attacked before the spell was cast. Vehicles first appear on Kaladesh and are now back on Ixalan in the form of ships. Crewing a vehicle makes it an artifact creature until end of turn. Crewing can be done any time you could cast an instant, and you could tap an untapped creature to crew regardless of summoning sickness. Once the vehicle is a creature, it obeys all rules of artifact creatures until the end of the turn. 
double face cards are back and work the same way as how they worked before. As long as a double face card is in any zone, only take into consideration the characteristics of the front face, unless the card is transformed on the battlefield. The back face of a card has the same converted mana cost as the front face. If you are playing with double face card, you must use fully opaque sleeves or checklist cards found in certain Ixalan booster packs. Ixalan also brings a rules change to Planeswalkers. Now, Planeswalkers are considered legendary permanents and obey the legend rule. The Planeswalker uniqueness rule is now gone, so you can have a Gideon of the Trials, Gideon Ally of Zendikar, and Gideon Jura on the battlefield at the same time. Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and I will be explaining the mechanics of Ixalan. Ixalan is a plane of adventure and exploration, which is exemplified by its first keyword ability, Explore. Explore is an activated or triggered ability that reads, Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature, then put the card back on top or into your graveyard. Explore is a powerful ability that essentially lets you draw land or buff your creature and get the scry. Ixalan is also home to ferocious dinosaurs, many of which have the Enrage ability. Enrage is a triggered ability that gives you some sort of bonus whenever a creature with Enrage is damaged. Enrage triggers for every instance of damage, regardless of how much was dealt or what dealt it. Raid is a triggered ability that first appeared on the Mardu clan of Tarkir, but now shows up on the Pirates of the Brazen Coalition. Raid is an ability that triggers if you attack with a creature this turn. Cards with Raid don't care about how many creatures you attacked with or if any damage was dealt, just so long as you attacked. Spells with Raid can have the Raid abilities trigger even if you attacked before the spell was cast. Vehicles first appear on Kaladesh and are now back on Ixalan in the form of ships. Crewing a vehicle makes it an artifact creature until end of turn. Crewing can be done any time you could cast an instant and you can tap an untapped creature to crew regardless of summoning sickness. Once the vehicle is a creature, it obeys all rules of artifact creatures until the end of the turn. Double face cards are back and work the same way as how they worked before. As long as a double face card is in any zone, only take into consideration the characteristics of the front face, unless the card is transformed on the battlefield. The back face of a card has the same converted mana cost as the front face, if you are playing with double face card, you must use fully opaque sleeves or checklist cards found in certain Ixalan booster packs. Ixalan also brings a rules change to Planeswalkers. Now, Planeswalkers are considered legendary permanents and obey the legend rule. The Planeswalker uniqueness rule is now gone, so you can have a Gideon of the Trials, Gideon Ally of Zendikar, and Gideon Jura on the battlefield at the same time. Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and I will be explaining the mechanics of Ixalan. Ixalan is a plane of adventure and exploration, which is exemplified by its first keyword ability, Explore. Explore is an activated or triggered ability that reads, Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature, then put the card back on top or into your graveyard. Explore is a powerful ability that essentially lets you draw land or buff your creature and get the scry. Ixalan is also home to ferocious dinosaurs, many of which have the Enrage ability. Enrage is a triggered ability that gives you some sort of bonus whenever a creature with Enrage is damaged. Enrage triggers for every instance of damage, regardless of how much was dealt or what dealt it. Raid is a triggered ability that first appeared on the Mardu clan of Tarkir, but now shows up on the Pirates of the Brazen Coalition. Raid is an ability that triggers if you attacked with a creature this turn. Cards with Raid don't care about how many creatures you attacked with or if any damage was dealt, just so long as you attacked. Spells with Raid can have the Raid abilities trigger even if you attacked before the spell was cast. Vehicles first appear on Kaladesh and are now back on Ixalan in the form of ships. Crewing a vehicle makes it an artifact creature until end of turn. Crewing can be done any time you could cast an instant, and you could tap an untapped creature to crew regardless of summoning sickness. 
Once the vehicle is a creature, it obeys all rules of artifact creatures until the end of the turn. Double face cards are back and work the same way as how they worked before. As long as a double face card is in any zone, only take into consideration the characteristics of the front face, unless the card is transformed on the battlefield. The back face of a card has the same converted mana cost as the front face. If you are playing with double face card, you must use fully opaque sleeves or checklist cards found in certain Ixalan booster packs. Ixalan also brings a rules change to Planeswalkers. Now, Planeswalkers are considered legendary permanents and obey the legend rule. The Planeswalker uniqueness rule is now gone, so you can have a Gideon of the Trials, Gideon Ally of Zendikar, and Gideon Jura on the battlefield at the same time. Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and I will be explaining the mechanics of Ixalan. Ixalan is a plane of adventure and exploration, which is exemplified by its first keyword ability, Explore. Explore is an activated or triggered ability that reads, Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature, then put the card back on top or into your graveyard. Explore is a powerful ability that essentially lets you draw a land or buff your creature and get the scry. Ixalan is also home to ferocious dinosaurs, many of which have the Enrage ability. Enrage is a triggered ability that gives you some sort of bonus whenever a creature with Enrage is damaged. Enrage triggers for every instance of damage, regardless of how much was dealt or what dealt it. Raid is a triggered ability that first appeared on the Mardu clan of Tarkir, but now shows up on the Pirates of the Brazen Coalition. Raid is an ability that triggers if you attacked with a creature this turn. Cards with Raid don't care about how many creatures you attacked with or if any damage was dealt, just so long as you attacked. Spells with Raid can have the Raid abilities trigger even if you attacked before the spell was cast. Vehicles first appear on Kaladesh and are now back on Ixalan in the form of ships. Crewing a vehicle makes it an artifact creature until end of turn. Crewing can be done any time you could cast an instant, and you could tap an untapped creature to crew regardless of summoning sickness. Once the vehicle is a creature, it obeys all rules of artifact creatures until the end of the turn. Double face cards are back and work the same way as how they worked before. As long as a double face card is in any zone, only take into consideration the characteristics of the front face, unless the card is transformed on the battlefield. The back face of a card has the same converted mana cost as the front face. If you are playing with double face card, you must use fully opaque sleeves or checklist cards found in certain Ixalan booster packs. Ixalan also brings a rules change to Planeswalkers. Now, Planeswalkers are considered legendary permanents and obey the legend rule. The Planeswalker uniqueness rule is now gone, so you can have a Gideon of the Trials, Gideon Ally of Zendikar, and Gideon Jura on the battlefield at the same time. Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and I will be explaining the mechanics of Ixalan. Ixalan is a plane of adventure and exploration, which is exemplified by its first keyword ability, Explore.